What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today we are going to do our to do our official review of the first episode of the Last of Us series on HBO. And I'm joined here by the Marsman crew, Haki and Lingella Kill. And the way this video is going to work is we are going to divide the video officially to two parts. First off, with the non-spoiler section where we will do our official review and give our first uh, uh, initial impressions of the episode. And then our second section will be a spoiler discussion discussing the major events that happened throughout the, the episode and kind of give our input on how we feel about them. So let's get started with the non-spoiler review section. And basically, I want to get your uh, just your impressions about what you thought about the episode. I feel like when I'm thinking about this episode, I honestly thought it was a pretty good start to what we are going to be seeing with the show as, as, as a whole. I think what's kind of funny is that you know, me and Angelica were watching this and we actually were watching with our dad and we were like, hey, uh, why don't you watch the show with us and see what you think? Somebody that doesn't have, have any input on the video game. And he was already like, oh, this is going to be I can't sit here. I, I have to I have to get up. This is going to be brutal. And I was like, this is what Last of Us is like. Last of Us is a is a brutal and saddening story. It's a tragic story. And the way that they depicted a lot of these things in the very beginning is spot on to what Last of Us is in the video game. And I think overall, I think the biggest thing for me is that, that the characters they have so far with, you know, Pe uh, Pedro uh, Pascal playing as Joel is did, was a great choice um, right off the bat. I think he's he's a, he's obviously a good actor and he's obviously shown how popular he can be with, you know, with the Mandalorian and Bella Ramsey, surprisingly, I thought did very well as Ellie in the very beginning. Granted, I want to see more of her first before I give her the title of Ellie, perfect Ellie here. But the dialogue, I think, is what's the most important thing for me that seemed right with this show. I think the dialogue between Joel and Ellie and other characters seems like it's the game, right? This is, and obviously, Neil Drunkman being on staff here does do a great part in, in that because he obviously was a key component, obviously, the writer for the game. So it obviously means a lot coming from him. And I think the biggest thing I looked at for the impressions overall was if you're a fan of the game you would love the first episode i think that's my biggest first impression i saw but haki you are somebody that has never played a game and i kind of want to get your opinion here what's your impressions about this first episode yeah so uh, my first impression is that uh very intriguing I, I definitely can't wait to continue to watch the show um pretty much from start to end i was glued to the tv um I think it was very well written. Uh, I think the acting was good. I thought the music was very good as well. Um, you know, the music made a lot of the scenes very suspenseful. So um, the first impression was was good, and it made me want to play the game more. So um, I'm, I'm going to give it. Uh, gonna, I'm going to give it a, a good go first. So yeah, and uh, Langella Kill, you obviously were alongside with me when playing these games, and so you have it, your experience with The Last of Us. What were your first impressions here? Um, pretty strong uh, resemblance to the game. And I think that's kind of the biggest takeaway from this. We talk about an age of when adaptations um, into movies and shows have, have a long track record of being very poor. And the last time we did a review um, as a group was on the Halo TV show. So the last time we did this, um, we ran into a show that did not have um, a very strong adaptation to the video games. And this one was a much closer one. And so... Um, initial impressions, I, I agree with um, Marsman. Bella Ramsey and Patrick Pascal, uh, thumbs up to me on, on so far on this first episode. And uh, the show is definitely not going to be for the weak of heart. You saw that in this first episode right off the bat. Um, the mood is pretty set, um, pretty similar to the game. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of the key thing. And it's giving that emotion of what the games were like. And I think with that being said, I do want to guess right into the ratings on how would we rate this episode because it's a really difficult thing to do for you know for shows when you compare it to video games i think a lot of people always think that we have to be uh you know bright bright clouds on everything we review but you know reality is when you're thinking about tv shows and how you would rank rate an average show like a like, a, like an average show rating would be like around a what a five i think would be an average show and to get higher than that means that you're better than average like you're you're getting to the good to the greats and i think what's important for me is i'm looking at this episode i think it was a good episode i think they landed on a lot of things where they wanted to introduce the characters people like joel and 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 others like tess and and ellie and these characters are going to be brand new to a lot of people you're bringing in an hbo audience that is dedicated and they want to see some entertaining content and 
I think they did a good job at entertaining people, but also bringing in the idea that if you're new to this, you can watch this and you can get right into it, right? I think that's kind of the one of the biggest things I'm looking at. And I think they fired out on all cylinders here. They had a very good dialogue that was written between the characters, felt more emotional than, you know, obviously if you played the games, you know exactly what happened and the emotion was clear and evident in this dialogue. And I think that I would say one of the things I wish they were were doing more would be the music component. I feel like Last of Us has a really good soundtrack in the video games. There are some instances you did hear the classic tunes, but there were times I felt like they could have added a little bit more to bring out that emotion of whether it was the despair or whether it was this the 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 darkness of what's going on in certain parts of this. You could have brought more into that. And I feel like they they kind of like I said it wasn't bad or anything when it comes to the music, but I do wish they had uh, included more. And uh, there's something a little nervous about, and I'll talk more about that in the second section of the uh, of the video. But I feel like if I was going to give this first episode, I'm drifting closer to like an 8.8. .8. I feel like this was a, a great episode for people to introduce yourself to the this lore and story of The Last of Us. Had some really good action scenes, had great acting between all these people. The dialogue I thought was very well written, and it kind of did a great job of introducing some things and even added some new stuff that really wasn't in the games, but it does give some good insight to search certain situations. Joel is a great character, and, and, and Pedro Pascal is, is did it was a great choice. I think best choice so far um, did exactly the way I would want Joel to be depicted in a, in a TV show. Um, and like I said this before, if you're a fan of the game, you're going to love this first episode. So, Angelica, I want to get your opinion first. What is your rating for this episode? Yeah, um, I'm giving it a nine. I think it was a really strong episode. It does a good job of introducing what the issue is. Uh, heading into this series right in the beginning um, and then it doesn't feel you know slow sometimes when you have a long 80 minute episode it doesn't feel sometimes it could drag out it kind of gives you really fast pace in the beginning um, sets the mood uh, right there um, had some good action scenes like you said and some strong dialogue so a lot of good things I do think you know like you said could add a little bit more music um, would have made it even better um, but a really strong off the bat episode that you know grabs your attention pretty much from start to finish uh with slight changes to the lore but again i talked about this previously i'm not a you have to be um page by page with the lore you can make some adjustments as long as the characters to me stay true to who they are and i think they did that and that's why i think it gets a nine yeah so uh chris uh hockey here what do you think man you're brand new to the series what's your rating on this uh first episode yeah, so I've, I've uh, unfortunately did very high ratings for TV shows like Halo when they didn't deserve it, at least the first episode and maybe the last episode. Um, but this one, I think, definitely deserves uh, a high rating. So I'm actually at a 9.1. I think we're all relatively close. I think um, I do think it deserves it. Um, kind of like how you both said it, it did stick to, as, as far as I know and, and to you guys know, it did stick to the story uh, much more than like Halo did. So... Um, the story is a game of the year, um, you know, uh, you know, the, the game is a game of the year franchise. So uh, again, if they stick to the story, uh, it is going to get uh, high ratings. And then I was on my seat, you know, the, the edge of my seat the whole time. So it definitely deserved a, a good rating. And, and that's why I gave it a nine too. Yeah. I feel like when I'm thinking about this and this is probably my fault and it's mainly because when I look at, when I play the game, I look at, and I try to do some comparisons and I'm like, well, I like the game did it in there, this way and I feel like maybe I like it better and that kind of maybe clouds my judgment on some of these components but I think overall based on what you all think I think the show did a great job over from the first yeah. episode landing on some of these key things it's hard for any show to do and, and the, the key thing is going to be a question of how do they do this going forward and we'll talk about that more in the second section of this but this is the end of the non-spoiler review obviously you're more than welcome to watch the entirety of the video but if you want to wait and kind of see what we think after you watch the episode yourself. More than welcome to do that. But I want you to you know, obviously watch the video, watch the HBO episode, first episode, and then drop a comment below about what you think and how would you rate this first episode. And if you've seen it already, you can drop that comment as well. And make sure you hit that hit, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. If you like this type of stuff, we are going to be doing this often with our live streams, obviously, every single week, at least a minimum two times a week. And we have a lot of other platforms and all that stuff is listed below. Make sure you hit that like button and uh, check us out in part two 
of the spoiler section. Well, guys, spoiler section here. We just finished up our ratings, and honestly, when I'm looking at this this first episode, I thought it was a great first episode. I think the key thing is that when you're doing a pilot episode like this, it's the whole goal is to get people attracted to want to keep watching, right? And I think that when you look at this overall, they did that. I think they landed on a key component that a lot of people struggle with is getting the, the viewer hooked to see, all right, what happens next, right? You always want to find a spot to end with a suspenseful like, oh boy, you know, what's going to, what I have to watch next week or else I won't know what's going to happen. I'm like, I'm like in a surprise. But in this part, we're going to discuss about the different sections of, of the episode. Obviously, it was a, around an hour and 20 minutes in, in length, which is essentially the scale of an entire movie. Um, so we kind of want to see the different components. I'll, I'll talk about some major events that happened and we'll kind of give our just impressions about what we saw, what we liked, what we didn't like. If you want to step in, if not, then we'll just move on to the next sections. But let's start off with part one, the beginning of this episode. I think this is something that was di completely different than the video game. Discussing really this, there was like a the science kind of uh, discussion TV show that was happening in the 60s uh, between these two different scientists debating on what they kind of, what kept them up at night, I guess you would say the fear of a possible like pandemic, which kind of matches what we saw recently, um, which is very interesting. I thought that was a pretty bold move for them to bring up a pandemic. And then uh, one of the scientists is like, yeah, no, I'm not really, uh, uh, not really scared about the bacteria. I'm more scared of fungi. And you know, everyone's like, but fungi was that big deal. Makes a good point. Uh, you know, fungi kind of can take over someone's mind and control them basically. And you know, if fungi don't really survive in the the cold weather, uh, I mean, they, they can't survive unless yeah. say, you know, in, in warm weather. So. And that's why human beings that have a body temperature of around like a certain temperature over 94 over yeah, 94 in a body over 94 yeah, yeah. they have a body human body human beings have a body temperature that's way too hot for fungi to survive which is why no one ever sees that as being an issue but they're like well what happens if a fungi adapts and uh you know certain gene mutations happen and allows them to survive past that point and then human beings are screwed essentially and and because there's no cure to something like that and that was kind of sets right in that point and it, and it shows last of us and if you're you know the game you're like damn that's actually really cool because they didn't really jump into you know that concept they kind of just like in the video game they kind of discussed that this was a fungi and it's spreading fast but never really gave that kind of like a, a science lesson of like why is it that fungi how they make the jump yeah how the yeah, fungi why, make why, the jump it, it's real it? like this is yeah. a real fungus um that actually does uh do this kind of stuff to insects mm -hmm. so like they they added kind of like okay how did they make the jump to the next step yep. which i think is very interesting and um to me like when you compare it to like the walking dead because everyone's going to compare this show to the walking dead i don't even remember how the walking dead issue it, it was about, it was right? similar it was similar it, but it was like a thing where it's like everyone's in everyone's brain there yeah. was this mutation that it had that has this issue and and just recently because of like i forgot what it was that started but everyone has this in their brain it wasn't like that you caught you caught something it was yeah. just like it turns on when you die but they never i forgot how, how they explained why it started all of a sudden that it just turned on for people i forgot how it was but it, that is a big difference like, it was like this is something yeah. you caught like, this you is caught something, something like yeah and like something yeah. that makes it more believable yeah than, than like another you know and, and, and they brought it into the it was like they said they kind of brought it to like a, a reality like a yeah. hey this this type of thing could happen right like yeah. and they brought it to like modern day like hey if, if temperatures globally start warming up and then I think I was sitting there like oh crap. like yeah, even like even like yeah. our dad who was watching it, it's like you know he's you know he was like oh my god they're really I was like that is that is kind of the scary part is that this is yeah. nothing that's not too far fetched um and they they once that right from that part they did the title screen with obviously the same music from the game which was really cool same opening too with the kind of fungus spreading everywhere i think the only thing i kind of felt was a little different which i would have liked was obviously if you if you know the game they don't hit the title screen until obviously the major event that we're about to talk about happens where basically they start the, they start the the show the same way going into the main character of joel and, and kind of meeting his daughter sarah as well as brother tommy kind of going through their life uh, before the incident officially occurred. And obviously they have news that like, Hey, there's people going crazy going after they're trying to kill other people like in the news. And there's a lot of, a lot of stuff happening in the local town of Austin, Texas. And obviously then it goes into the night of when everything goes to crap basically. And, and essentially, you know, uh, you know, the neighbors get caught, they get the fungus, the, you know, they get caught with the fungus, they turn 
and then Joel ends up having to kill the neighbor, basically the grandmother. And now they're fleeing and trying to get out of the city. But everyone's like, you know, trying to do the same thing. They get in quarantined by the government. I think this part is where it kind of sped up a little bit. Like in, if you play the game, yeah. like they kind of they change up some things like the plane crashes. That's what causes them to have to leave. And Sarah gets her leg broken, her ankle broken, and, and they have to run. They kind of sped up this part. They like really, really fast. Like they, they kind of just jumped the gun on like, like they, they could have intensified the scene a little bit because in the game, uh, grand, like I said, if I'm comparing it to game, I thought some things in the game are different because you're actually doing the action, but they, you could have like intensified the scene of like the chase. Like that's what they kind of did in the game where it's like you were bugging that they were like, you, you could hear them right behind you and you had to like get out of the room fast. And, and the guy in the, you know, the zombie that tackles you out of the door basically and similar to what happened here, but you know, it's similar. Right. And then the whole, obviously the scene, where the officers told you have to kill not only Joel but Sarah because they want to contain everybody in this and Tommy saves your life but he doesn't save your life until you get until Joel and Sarah get shot um and obviously Sarah dies in in the arms of Joel similar scenes almost identical to what how it happens yeah. in the game the only thing that's different I think is that they poured more music into the scene in the game and I think that was where me personally I was sitting there watching it and I was like they're gonna start hitting that 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 uh, that uh, guitar tune. It's gonna start getting me tearing up a little bit, because uh, that or the violin, the violin and guitar are gonna start popping in. I'm like, oh no, because when I first played this game back in 2013, and I was obviously I was in high school, I was like I was starting to tear up a little bit because like that was messed up the first time I saw that. Um, but I thought they could they missed a little bit of an opportunity there, put a little bit more music in, but still, even with that being the case, the beginning is probably one of the most known openings of of any game ever right and kind of get your impressions i thought they landed on it being one of those things that like shocked right and i know i knew it was going to happen but still like it was a good scene to get people to be like whoa and hockey i want to get your opinion here because you're, you're the only one among the three of us who has not played the game so this is all new to you how did you feel when you first saw that the ending right there the first part so it was um it was definitely suspenseful you know from Pretty much from the night that it began, you know, uh, in the morning, I guess, or it might have even, I think it was, it wasn't two in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it was two in the morning. morning. Yeah. yeah, really early in the morning. You know, she walked into her neighbor's house, and, you know, she sees the grandma all zombied off, like with the stuff coming out of her mouth yeah. and everything. Um, really suspenseful, a little scary, you know, blood all over the floor. Um, I thought the chase scene was cool. I thought the planes flying overhead, like a bunch of planes flying overhead, one crashes, um, you know, them trying to escape. Um, and yeah, when, when the daughter gets shot and die, like I texted the group chat that we all text him, like, you know, what the F man, like this is <laughs> so messed up, you know? Um, I thought it really set the scene for uh, a lot of messed up stuff that's going to happen. So I definitely think the first scene was, was something that that's going to stick with you. And yeah, if, if you didn't play the video game and you saw that you're, you know, your kind of mind is blown, you know, that, that means that. You know, and if you know about the video game like I do, like I, I want to play the video game now more than ever because like, you know, one game of the year and, you know, this show kind of shows me what type of video game it is. It's just suspenseful and can get really crazy, you know. So I thought the first scene uh, was, was pretty cool. Yeah, Angelica, what did you think, man? I actually, you know, I thought they drew Sarah really well. I think she did a really good job in her short period of time as the daughter. You kind of see the connection with her father and Joel. Um, you kind of can see the connection with Tommy and stuff like that. Um, it was a nice moment, you know, getting the watch fixed and all that. And then all shit hits the fan. Right. And yep. so, um, you know, that, that scene going into the Adler's house, I think was, I, it was different than the game. Yeah, right? The it was game changes yep. that up, but having the dog run to the window and, uh, you know, and like when she tries to bring the dog back and the dog refuses to go inside the house and pulls away again, it kind of like you go into those scary movie moments where it's like, it's pretty obvious something messed up is in there, but she has to go in anyway. And like, it really set up with the blood on the floor and, and Mr. Adler got bit. Um, and so he's before he got turned and you can see the grandmother, you know, chewing away at infecting um, another member of the household. I forgot what the woman's name was, but it was just uh, Mrs. Adler is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Mrs. Adler. And, uh, you know, that's when things in, you know, they come out and he bashes the grandmother. Yeah, just just kill, yeah, kills the grandmother yeah. and everything. Um, and, and now, granted, some of the differences were, it was more like in the house, like in their house, the yeah. zombie was trying to get in and the, the yeah, Joel yeah. had a popper 
with a pistol. That was the only yeah. difference. But you know, th- but I think it still kind of set the message, right? So like yeah. those are like the minute the, the tiny changes. It still felt really intense. Um, and obviously the chase scene was really good with all the hell's breaking loose in the town. I know that they did shorten it um, because they got a lot in in this first episode. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it is going, you know, I think the pace is going to be pretty fast. They have yeah. to fit this whole game um, into this. And there's what, nine episodes. So, well, that's me, the only thing. That's yeah. the only concern that I have is that we're going to get some fast, intense moments, but it was a strong moment. And obviously the death scene was. A really tough one you knew if you played the game you knew it was coming um but you you know it's it still you know they did a pretty good job of it yeah and, and that's the thing like so i'm looking at the next portions i think the only reason why i was a little i was a little like not upset but i was a little like ah oh, man they, they missed a good opportunity was this next part it goes into obviously like going into modern day and it, it changes it instead of it being from 2013 goes to 2023 which is fine but they missed the that they missed the aspect where they started to explain kind of the the downfall or the turning of society right in that in the game they use this part to then talk about the ra- they show, show a radio and it shows how years are progressing and basically crap everything's falling every crap is going going everywhere everyone's getting infected cities are, are turning you know like they're putting everyone in the quarantine zones they're, they're showing the government's being like an authoritarian uh type style of government you know no one has rights anymore all that stuff and then there's going to be a rise of a group of the Fireflies who are going to be insurrectionists going against them and explaining, like, what's going on here. Um, but they didn't really do that in the show. They kind of just jumped right to the next part. Joel and Tess are smugglers, basically. And there's, bad, obviously, inner struggles between different smugglers, whatever it is. But they reveal pretty quickly, like, you know, Joel's goal of why he's trying to gain a battery, right? And his whole goal was to go and find his brother, Tommy, who is out west. Uh, and is uh, working for the fire, uh, Fireflies, which they didn't actually do that. In the, they didn't talk about that very early on in the game. They just said it, it, everyone thought that you know, he was trying to get a battery just so him and Tess can get the hell out of there. It wasn't necessarily like to go find his brother. They didn't explain that part really much in the game until later on. Obviously, we get introduced to Ellie and obviously uh, under the Fireflies. And, and I think the key thing is that chained he, up. Yeah, he's yeah, chained, getting up. chained up because they're trying to test her see if she's infected or not which was different than the games but it was it was pretty good like the, yeah. they showed this part um and obviously you get introduced to marlene and obviously when marlene uh her group gets raided basically she's injured and now she gives you know joel a mission to, to get ellie out of the quarantine zone because they won't be able to travel with her at the time and they kind of good do a good job explaining this in this portion because in the game it was similar but it was more like because they wouldn't they have to get out of there really fast right and it was similar to the the TV show and essentially when Joel gets the mission to deliver Ellie out of the zone that's where we get to the final section where we see the actual mission right and this is just like the video game you gotta escape from you know dodging through soldiers they didn't really do this um as dura- like the duration wise even near to what the game was it took a lot longer for uh, all that stuff to happen they kind of did it pretty fast not that big of a deal but they kind of sped through like it, it, it felt like Joel and Tess were like uh, ultimate pros like they look there's no one there uh, for the most part, there's like maybe one light and then one guard was taking a piss in the back and that was about it. There wasn't really a lot of soldiers around, but they get by everybody and then Joel gets stopped by the by the federal officer. He gets that flashback, which is different than the game, but they do. It's a good job to reflect that and he just beats the crap out of him and kills him. And then uh, they get they get out of there. And I think that's... And, that, and they, they find out that... Uh, they find out that, that Ellie is infected. actually infected. But they didn't go into much, go into it much, obviously, yeah. and that's kind of the key thing. They're gonna let that yeah. happen for the saddle for the next episode. And overall, I think I'll just give my my quick impressions because uh, I want us to kind of jump into like what we think about for the next week quickly. But overall, I think they did a good job at landing on some key things. Basically, looking at Last of Us, uh, the game has ten total chapters in it, so it seems like they're going to somewhat copy some of these chapters into the to the episodes. As there's nine episodes, and only ten chapters means. They will condense certain parts to meet so they can meet the, you know, almost the timeline or pacing. And I, that's not a bad thing. It's just, it means that they need to, because remember, the game doesn't take like an hour each mission. Like the, the game could take longer. So it yeah. seems like they're going to condense some things here, which yeah. is not necessarily a bad thing. So I think overall, doing a good job on this, I think they have obviously a good standing for episode one. They do leave it on a good cliffhanger of like getting out of the city, similar to what the episode, how the mission first ends. And then they kind of show some, you know, where they're heading next, which is obviously to the city, which is where all the infected really are. 
Um, not all of them, but outside, a good chunk outside of the, the outside, outside, outside the quarantine, the quarantine zone. zones. Mm-hmm. Now there, you could see a lot of infected, which you will obviously, um, and you'll see other groups too, which is obviously important. But they kind of give you a uh, kind of a look to the future, right? I think that's kind of a good thing. They showed you like a lot of cutscenes yeah. from all across the future season, and I think yeah, yeah. that if you're a fan of the game, you, I I was able to recognize all of that, and I was like, yep, yep, yep. Uh, this is all gonna this is getting it pretty crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, and I think that was kind of a cool thing they did. They didn't just say, hey, next week. They said, the future of the show, look at some of these scenes. And uh, my only fear is I just want to make sure that they don't, like, they don't have parts dragging. Like, I think that they need to find a good mix. Like, some parts should deserve to get a little bit more kind of discussion on. And some parts, yeah, you can definitely condense. I think that would be the only thing I'm fearful of. Because episode one, usually for TV shows, they do jump out the game. Like, yeah, yeah. let's not forget, Halo episode, the Halo show first episode wasn't bad like that wasn't a bad first episode but we all know what happened next how it where, ended we how, all know how, how it ended. the entire show went <laughs> and it was all a bunch of crap the entire and even time. episode one how it ended yeah i'm yeah. saying episode yeah. one ended pretty badly and then episode two was guard god awful but yeah, then yeah. it's just getting worse and worse and worse and then yeah. last last episode they like oh yeah we ended the we ended okay like you know what i mean like having a full season of solid episodes is difficult now, first episode usually starts out well because that's where a lot of the funding goes to, first and last, and midway point. So, yes, HBO is known for creating great shows, but they also were the same people that had funded the the Velma show. So, I mean, you know, so at the end of the day, like, we got to make sure they keep continuing this good pacing, right, and this good action. Any any in, last impressions for you guys? Uh, let Hockey go first. Any last impressions on their show? Part two. Yeah. Yeah. So in that part two, um, yeah, part two, this part two, yeah, last, last part. Yeah. 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 So the last part, I think you had mentioned it. Um, just for someone who didn't play the game, I didn't really understand, you know, um, I guess the factions. I understood the government and, you know, them having control. Didn't really understand the fireflies, um, until really, I guess the end where they really mentioned it. Um, and then, and then I, I obviously talked to you guys, but, um, the cool thing is if you didn't play the video game the cool thing was like seeing this little girl ellie locked up like like we were talking about like yo why is she locked up like me not playing the video game other than me talking to you guys like me not playing the video game i had no idea why they have this like little girl locked up she's kind of like a smart ass too a pretty good part um and then like at the end you know uh she shows that she got bit it's been three weeks and then you're just like oh man like uh, crazy from here you know so i thought um if they should have maybe explained the fireflies like uh mars man said a little bit better but um you know, seeing that whole scene with Ellie being locked up and then showing that she got bit and like, you know, she can be the cure or whatever, you know, um, that's like a, a cool part. So th- that's that's my takeaway. I think the episode was really good, uh, really intriguing. So I can't wait for the next week's episode. Yeah, Angelica, what do you think, Ben? Yeah, I want to try to go quick because I actually did like a lot of parts that was in part two. The little boy coming up to the quarantine zone and they bring him in and they run a scan and he's infected and they end up killing him. And you could see Joel's throwing his body into the fire, which is, again, was another strong statement similar to him carrying his daughter to her death. He's just throwing that little boy's body into the fire. Um, which was, I thought, a pretty messed up scene. And the part where Marlene and Joel come together here is, um, like you said, Joel and Tess are trying to buy a battery to leave the quarantine zone to go find Tommy. And Marlene was the one who was buying that battery that was stolen from them for them to leave with uh, with Ellie. So that's kind of how they went in. The battery was shot. A gunfight went in that we didn't see, but we saw all those dead bodies. And Marlene was shot in the gut in her right hand person's ear was shot off which was another uh a nice little funny joke that they uh did when she said you know like shut up you don't have an ear right now um and you can see her ears blown off if anyone didn't catch that part <laughs> um which i thought was kind of funny and then you know i thought you know ellie locked up and all that was great and at the end when the guard who um joe was giving drugs to uh, kind of had like an inside track stops them Ellie stabs him because he knows that she's going to pull up positive on that infection test. And then that's when that went down where Joel just bashed him uh, and killed him and going right into it. Right. And they just leave. They know it's infected and she shows the bite and there's going to be a confrontation at some point in this next episode, which is good. Um, Last thing I'll say is this. I think the, I don't think the pacing is going to be slow. My fear is that it's pacing is going to be extremely fast. 
Um, so I don't think we're going to have a like a slog similar to some other shows. I think that we're going to have some big moments that are going to be condensed. I, I think that some parts might not get enough time because there's going to be a lot of condense here because you have nine episodes and you have to get the entirety of the game in this season. I think that's going to be the pacing is the, is the right thing, I think, to be concerned about. But I don't think it's going to be about lag. I think it's going to be about being too fast at times. Well, you know what? I, I do agree with you, man. I think that will be kind of the key thing I'm looking at going forward. How is the pacing going to be? How are they going to take these big moments and, and really show the emotion behind them? Because I do want to see more of that music that was so so well known in the series yeah. be utilized more because I feel like they had some good opportunities to do it and they kind of just missed it slightly, I think, from my opinion. Um, you, you you own the you own the rights to it. Just use it, right? That's why I thought even the writing of the show was so well done because it yeah. copies the game, right? They, that's the dialogue point. Was dialogue, yeah, the dialogue was good. Yeah, the dialogue was good. It makes you feel like, you know, it's the same, right? It's a, not yeah. identical, but it's it's close to it, right? And I think that's what a lot of people were looking for. How close can they, can they get it without it being an like, identical carbon copy? And so far, episode one, they did do that. But that's going to be it for the episode, guys. Make sure after you watch the episode, give us what your opinion is about it and make sure you put that in the comments below. Do you think they did a good job? Do you think that they kind of missed the mark? Give us your official rating and let's compare. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. You can join us on Twitch. We do our live streams on multiple different types of games and obviously join us on social media on Twitter and Discord and as located in the description below. But until next time, this is Marsman from Marsman Gaming signing off. Peace out, guys. Thank you.